Arthritis, a condition affecting millions globally, can be managed better through lifestyle changes, particularly focusing on weight management and diet. Being overweight or having a high BMI directly impacts the severity and progression of arthritis. Typically, a diet common in Western countries, characterized by large portions, high calorie content, and excessive sugar, is linked to obesity and a higher occurrence of metabolic syndrome. This syndrome escalates the risk of various health issues, including aggravated arthritis symptoms. Recent research highlights that individuals with more severe metabolic syndrome experience faster deterioration in their osteoarthritis. This includes increased bone spurs, more pronounced bone marrow lesions, and greater cartilage damage. On the flip side, losing a significant amount of weight can remarkably enhance pain management, mobility, and overall joint health. This was particularly evident in a study focusing on knee arthritis, patients who underwent bariatric surgery. The substantial weight loss following the surgery led to notable reductions in knee pain and improvements in their Womack osteoarthritis index scores. Moreover, arthritis symptoms are exacerbated by elevated levels of inflammatory markers in the body or joints. Diets rich in refined carbs and saturated fats, typical of Western eating habits, can increase the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. These cytokines are linked to increased pain sensitivity and more severe arthritis symptoms. The study also discovered that weight loss through bariatric surgery significantly lowered levels of inflammatory markers, such as C-reactive protein and interleukin-6, which are commonly associated with heightened pain and more severe symptoms. Arthritis, a widespread condition, can see significant symptom improvement through weight loss, not only does shedding pounds help, but it also boosts markers indicating better cartilage health and reduces those linked to cartilage breakdown. This is great news for joint health. But what if surgery isn't an option? What other ways can people lose weight to help their arthritis? A comprehensive study involving a network meta-analysis aimed to find out. It looked at data from 30 clinical trials with 4,600 participants to compare different weight loss methods and their impact on knee osteoarthritis. The top three effective methods were bariatric surgery, a combination of a low-calorie diet and exercise, and intensive weight loss programs with exercise. This shows that combining weight loss with exercise can significantly ease arthritis pain. But how much weight loss is needed to see benefits? Another detailed review, which analyzed seven clinical trials involving over 1,100 patients, provides some answers. Losing just 5% of body weight can slightly improve pain, disability, and quality of life for those with mild to moderate knee osteoarthritis. A 10% weight loss has an even more substantial positive impact. Diet also plays a crucial role, especially anti-inflammatory diets, which seem to help with arthritis symptoms independently of weight loss. Diets like the Mediterranean diet are not just good for weight management. They also offer benefits like reduced heart disease and cancer risks, better brain health, and lower diabetes risk. These diets are rich in plant-based foods and dietary fibers, which can positively change gut microbiome activity, leading to more anti-inflammatory effects. Clinical trials back this up. One study involving 468 patients across seven trials found that those on a low inflammatory diet, without calorie restrictions, lost more weight and had lower levels of inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein and interleukin-6 compared to those on a regular diet. Particularly for people with rheumatoid arthritis, this diet led to improved physical function and less joint pain, though this wasn't as evident in those with osteoarthritis. Another review compared the effects of various anti-inflammatory diets, including Mediterranean, vegetarian, and vegan diets, against standard diets. The results were clear. Those on anti-inflammatory diets reported less pain, better health questionnaire scores, and fewer swollen joints. They also lost more weight and reduced their BMI more than those on regular diets. The Mediterranean diet seemed to have a slightly better effect, and longer diet periods showed more significant benefits. However, it's worth noting that these studies had a high risk of bias, indicating a need for more research in this area. Conducting dietary studies is notoriously challenging. It's hard to have a truly randomized placebo-controlled trial in this area 
because people can't be unaware of what they're eating, and there's always a chance they might not stick strictly to the diet. Despite these hurdles, evidence suggests that diets focused on reducing inflammation can help alleviate arthritis symptoms. These diets not only seem to lower inflammation markers, potentially slowing arthritis progression, but they also appear to be more effective for weight loss compared to other diets. And we've seen from numerous systematic reviews and meta-analyses that losing weight can significantly improve arthritis symptoms. If you're finding this information helpful, I'd really appreciate it. If you could hit the like button, it helps more people get access to this content, and I'm grateful for your support. Now, let's dive into what foods typically make up an anti-inflammatory diet. Remember, this isn't a complete list, but more of a guideline to help you choose what to include in your meals. A good rule of thumb is to add as many different colors to your plate as possible. Each color represents various phytochemicals and antioxidants, which are great for your health. Starting with fruits, berries like blueberries, cranberries, blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries are antioxidant powerhouses. Other fruits high in antioxidants include pomegranates, cherries, kiwis, grapes, and citrus. When it comes to vegetables, those rich in antioxidants are particularly beneficial. This includes leafy greens and cruciferous veggies like kale, spinach, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. Other colorful veggies like carrots, eggplants, tomatoes, beets, onions, and garlic also help reduce inflammation. These vegetables are not only packed with vitamins and minerals, but are also great sources of fiber. Speaking of fiber, it's crucial for maintaining a healthy digestive system and balancing the gut microbiome. Fiber-rich foods, like oats, brown rice, quinoa, barley, and whole wheat are not only good for your heart and blood sugar levels, but also help you feel full, aiding in weight management. For proteins and fats, fatty fish are excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids. This category includes wild-caught salmon, sardines, mackerel, herring, trout, tuna, and anchovies. Nuts and seeds, such as almonds, walnuts, cashews, pistachios, chia seeds, and flax seeds are also rich in protein and healthy fats. Other sources of beneficial fats include olive oil and avocados. Lastly, it's important to remember that while managing weight and diet is crucial in dealing with arthritis, it's just one aspect of a comprehensive treatment plan. We've discussed how significant weight loss, including through bariatric surgery, can greatly alleviate arthritis symptoms. However, a study focusing on the long-term impacts of obesity and bariatric surgery revealed something surprising. Over a period of 20 to 30 years, bariatric surgery didn't completely reduce the heightened risk of knee and hip replacements in obese patients. In fact, those who underwent the surgery had a higher likelihood of needing knee replacement surgery compared to those who didn't. This unexpected result has left researchers puzzled, trying to understand why such massive weight loss might lead to more knee and hip replacements. There could be many reasons behind this, but the key point is that focusing solely on one treatment method isn't enough. A well-rounded, multifaceted approach is essential not just for easing arthritis symptoms, but also for slowing its progression. Other effective treatments include platelet-rich plasma injections and exercise therapy. To get a better understanding of these options, I recommend watching some related videos 